This just came out of nowhere. I hate him. Hey there, me and such boy. I'm the most Batman Tom King Grant. He wouldn't have killed Albert, but he's eating the bean. Is there again? Yep. Now, do we want to talk about it? Because as you all know, I'm a huge fan of Tom King. Well, at least some of his other work. His Batman work was cat pity pity. I like his, what, well, the beginning of his run, but man, it was down here after issue 50. So, the he hear that Tom King admit that he didn't want to kill Albert, but he's in the vein? Did that, there were, there were so many questions that, that I, I, I do what they want to address because, oh boy, this way, this should be fun because, let's face it, Tom King's Batman was always controversial in the very beginning. What's the mean by that? Well, you'll find out. Anyway. So, do you want to find the answer to news? See ya. Alright, um, as you can tell from my intro, actually, you can tell me into about this news. Why? You'll find out. Let's get started. According to an article I have in news.com, and I quote, <gasps> Batman Tom King claimed he wouldn't have killed Alfred, but DC intervened. Yep. Former Batman Tom King had opened up about deciding to kill Alfred Pennyworth. Bruce and Roy Bella, yep. And what he said, I quote, <gasps> The decision to kill Alfred Pennyworth came from DC after King himself planned to save his life following a cliffhanger ending. Yep. I got the opposite of pushback. I got pushed forward. Which then King said, I quote, I sort of had this cliffhanger where Alfred at the end was gonna, gonna could perish. I put in the script. Work of course, we'll figure this out later. And he's not dead. DC, multi dangerous bullshit, he quote. No, why is he, why is he not dead? Tom King did. And I'm like, well, because he is Alfred, and he, he has to live forever because he is a fantastic character, and they're like, no, he's dead. After what Alfred might return, King said, I quote, nothing can be permanent, ignoring that, that another like on do Alfred death, and Matthew would like it would, would. But he continues saying that what's sick and said in continuity is what good Alfred death leads to good stories. Which honestly is not entirely wrong, because Alpha Dev could have a really good story, right? De Dev did in time. But, this is Alpha we're talking about. Well, Batman was loyal, pretty allies. And, without Alpha, there's no, like, no one left. Well, there's a fight, but, yeah, that's not talking about that, And, it'll probably still get a better day coming along. Yep. Also, we're going to have a party series, it's called Penguin RP. Yep. And, not that at all, all they're going to show. Penguin Long Joe, Tom can admit that he didn't want to kill Alpha. Right, um, my part at all, as you all know, I'm a huge fan of Tom King Batman. I thought Tom King Batman was, well, kind of complete and a clutch of fucking mess. Because it started off good, I mentioned before, with the whole, um, Iron Gotham stuff. Then, after they started with Iron Studio, so I just saw my mother turn the fun pretty bad, in my opinion. But then it went down a little fast with the wedding is issue 50, which, ugh, issue 50, in my opinion, when the entire run went to hell. And you can check that. That's she went to hell to me after the wedding, and he said, he did not recover. But then the nightmare arc happened, and what's going on in it? So, having Tom Grant admit that, that he didn't want to kill Alfred, th this does actually raise a lot more questions, and actually proved my point that Dandy had no idea what he's doing. Because what the Dandy was fucking all the way, but ever since after he, he got back in power. Let's see, what happened to Dandy in the of power? Well, I know. We had the all new 52, we had a complete crunch of a failure. Then DCU happened, which is not a failure. Um, AD of my biggest, okay, John McCain is really running Bendis to go and fuck the Superman books. I would definitely have with my point that then you are doing what we're getting all these stupid bad ideas. Also, why we're not fucking a new Dr. Manhattan? Because Jerry is zero garbage, which. Oh, I, I, I already made a video on, on that acting news and what's some of the better, but you get my point. My point in general, actually, Alfred Dev, in my opinion, felt like a really bad idea in, in theory. In my opinion, I don't think Alfred Dev is not going to last. Why? Because let's face it, and Alfred is an important character, and Alfred is Batman will still get farther. And to see him die or have a shock value, that's no respect. That's more murder. And just Curtis, okay, not Curtis assassination, no, 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 it's more like basically like shock value. Like for like the readers. Kind of kind of like got my cry for justice did, but I think I'll talk about another day. I'll probably do a really cry justice eventually. Or maybe not. But you know my point. <sighs> my point is you know, I feel like Albert Death felt like a really bad idea. And I'm with Tom King in this one. Tom King like for all the for all the good and the bad Tom King gave us, he did push the envelope as best he could. And you can tell it's not gonna be permanent. This is not gonna last. For, oh, no, they'll probably bring him back to life. 
How do you gonna bring Alvin back to life? Roger Pay. That's the only option I can think of bringing Alvin back to life. But if they keep it that permanent, then you know what? Fine, I go for it. But I don't think it's gonna last. Like Damien Depp from about a few years ago, um, Alvin Depp is not, it's not gonna last. Well, then again, it, then again, I could be wrong about that, I will admit, and if we can get a good story out of Alvin Depp, cool, go for it, yay, but, with all five G's that I have any, I believe in this death will be undone, like Tongue King, Tongue King said, another way to may have to undo his death, because death is not permanent in comics, and, and we all know this won't last forever, it'll probably bring back to life. How do we know we'll bring them up? I don't know. Like I said, why is pit, but we don't all in between right now, and so I get to go to Witchy Evans. Now, I I I I put this in Fargy stuff that's coming out, uh, the old RP um Bad Parent RP stuff. That does look interesting, I mean before I go explain what it was Bad Parent or dude Albert Death. And I think the person that would hit hard the most for Albert Death will probably Tim Drake, maybe or maybe Damon Wayne. I think they're going to get Nightwing. We don't even have to leave because he's still with the right now. Ugh. I hate that word, dude. That's so stupid. When did that look been so good anyway? Back on track. Um, whatever is new. Add four, um, add, add four, basically, we have the good stories. Like I said, we don't want information about that, so until we figure out what's going on, let's just hope for the best, plan for the worst. And play that. The odds are going to horrible, but we'll see. But as for Tom King, and made that he didn't want to kill up Alfred. I'm with Tom King saying this one and He is 100% right. I'd blame more than you. He's bullshit. He's more than you. He's crap. He's all over. But you can tell Dan you what the story of this year making his own baby magnet and garbage. Like he did with, with the new 52, like he did here in the crisis, and like all the other bad design convergence. And what's going on over there. So, I'm, I'm with Tom King and this one 100%, and he's right. And look, Robert well, hate Tom King Drone. Tom King Drone did give us some good idea, good at least good stories in it. It wasn't fully executed correctly as best it could, but damn it, at least Tom King tried. And I don't blame Tom King, I blame more than you and DC editor in their bullshit for for ruining out the, the Batman series. And cut it short. But that well my point in general the um and I thought Alfred Dickinson if we get good stories out of it Fine, go for it, but at what cost, though? So, that's my question today. But until then, we'd wait to see Evans. Anywho, on top of his news, didn't spell it, I'll read him. In conclusion, am, am I happy the outfit is now dead and gone? No, I'm not. I think it's very sad and depressing because I don't want Batman to be sad and depressing. I want to be happy for one. I want to be happy, damn it. But, like I said, it's really a good story about Albert Death by Jason Todd Death. Cool, go for it, but I would think this is not going to last. These are all these retcon out of existence that way, because this is a mess right now. And with those Jones and G, Jones and 5 or 5G crap, we are not going to be retcon out of existence. Then go, did you, did that man why work by destroying the timeline? I'm probably going to fall over on that train of, of, of an event. God, it's so stupid. What the hell are you thinking to one dog man? Any high? Back on track. I don't know what type of news things, but wait, I'll them. Then we fight on Tom King, um, claiming he didn't want to like it out, but DC intervened. Um, put out Cotton Mother tell you think about the ancient news. Do you like it? Do you read it? Also, how do you feel Tom King and mean that he didn't want to kill Alfred? Put out Cotton Mother. Also, I go on Pitbull Bar on Twitter. Put on Scott my channel. Put on Twitter stars. Put it in the back. I get a little more long story. If you give me the can, I'll talk to you later. Good story. <laughs> See ya. Oh yeah, follow me on Blade that TV as well. Do the usual album bullshit in case the cop is doing it. Long story. Now, take it away. See ya. But, this is what you done. See ya. Bye, Tom King. I wish you luck in the next project. See ya. Bye.